Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today we're gonna try the infamous Club de Nuit Intense Man. So, yeah, I got the bottle. I got the box, I mean, to show you. I already did the review of the fragrance. This is just revisit of the fragrance. I'm gonna do the same review as usual. It's just one of the first review I've ever did. At the time, maybe I didn't know much about fragrance. I didn't have my nose as developed. I'm not sure I should show you this side of the, the box. But now I think it's time to revisit it. So, should the Unitas Man is famous for being a clone of Aventus. Though now I'm not quite sure it's the best Aventus clone. But at the time I got it, it was considered by most people as the best of this clone. It was not so long ago, actually, maybe two years. So it comes with a little cardboard, at least at the time, that looks a lot like the little cardboard that come with a Ventus bottle, but instead of the fragrance, it's the face of the people behind the tree. And for the bottle, I never removed the little thing. It's kind of stuck there. And as you can see also, it gets dirty really easily. And there's the Aramaf logo on top of the atomizer. So I showed you all the bottle, but uh, I think at this point you probably already know what it looked anyway. So let's go with the smell. Need to say that the fragrance have a great atomizer. It spray really well, really strong. And personally, I like that. It's not as crazy as Jacques Bogart fragrance, which are like, I don't know, a fire hose or something like that. Still, it's a good, strong atomizer. And now spraying on paper, you get a whiff in the air. You probably already know the fragrance is known to be really strong and powerful. As I smell it on paper, you have a lot of lemon. You have also a lot of some resin. A lot of birch, which is the resin I'm picking up. You have a lot of pineapple. The lemon is the forefront, but I'm still picking up really easily the other note. I know a lot of people say that the lemon is extremely strong. And I'm gonna come to on my skin uh, what it smells on paper, like the lemon is strong, but it's not something crazy. Like a lot of people would like to say that it smells like a lemon cleaner or something like that. I'm picking also like a woody note, not like a tree sap note or a resin note, but also a woody note from the birch. Picking up a little bit of apple. There's another fruity note that. It's black currant. It's not a note that I'm really used to smell black currant, but I would say that I'm picking it up. All those notes now are more subtle. Apple, black currant. I would say that I'm picking up some pepper also. There's no pepper this close anywhere, but I'm pretty sure there's some pepper or some note. Like if it's not pepper, it's something else. But pepper is pretty a cheap note. Like pepper and essential oil is really cheap. It is often used as a blender for citrus note. So it would make sense that there's like a tiny bit of pepper inside of it. And that's about it. And my skin, what I'm picking up. In the top notes, there's a lot of lemon. It's really intense. And there's also a lot of bergamot, but it's not as intense as the lemon, but it's really intense also. Picking up also a little bit of birch, a little bit of pineapple, a little bit of blackcurrant, a little bit of apple. In the heart notes, I'm picking up a lot of birch, and at that point is central note of the fragrance. Also, I'm picking up a little bit of patchouli. In the base note, I'm picking up a lot of birch and a lot of patchouli and a little bit of ambergris. And in the farther dry down, I'm picking up a lot of musk, a bunch of ambergris and a little bit of patchouli. Projection of the fragrance is really good. About six feet around me, people were able to smell it. And longevity was pretty good also over 12 hours. And for the complete note breakdown, top notes are lemon, Pineapple, bergamot, blackcurrant, and apple. Heart notes are birch, jasmine, and rose. And the base notes are musk, ambergris, patchouli, and vanilla. Now, where would I see this fragrance? I think it's woody. I wouldn't say bold, because now it's kind of a common, like, scent profile. But it's not bold. It's like, it's present. It's powerful. So I think it will be doing a great business fragrance. And personally, I would say it would be really versatile as a scent. 
as a dating fragrance. I think it would be good, but it's a, it's a divisive fragrance. I got some people telling me that it doesn't smell good, so it's more of a hit or, or miss. From what I heard, most people say that it's good as a, as a dating fragrance. It's also it's called Club de Nuit Intense Man. Like Club de Nuit, it's like a nightclub. I think that's where they were trying to go with, with that type of fragrance. But personally, hit or miss, but maybe more hit than miss. In the winter summer spectrum i think it would be a bad summer fragrance would be really in, be really intense also there's so many fragrance with that dna that you can just have something else for summer that smell pretty much the same wouldn't be hard to find i haven't tried the fragrance from zara but usually they don't smell like intense so maybe this one but i'm sure you can find something that doesn't project like crazy for summer so it, it just it's bad for summer and i don't think it's really worth like putting less spray but it's a personal opinion. And for winter, I think it will be really good. Usually this it's the time that I wear this fragrance more during winter. I think the projection is really good. And personally, the smell, I think it's great in winter, but I wouldn't say the smell is like a winter fragrance kind of smell. It's just a projection that makes it cut through the cold. And as an everyday scent, I think it's really intense, but it is a scent that attract compliment that a lot of people would enjoy. Of course, if you do a big 20 spray before going to work, people will probably hate you. And But just like a couple spray before going to work with the scent, people might like notice it, get you compliment, or you just like, it'll smell nice around people, which is what you want usually in those times. I think it will be doing a great job. You don't need to put a lot. The fragrance is cheap and it lasts the whole day. It's a great fragrance for an everyday fragrance. It will be a really great versatile fragrance if you look for something cheap. That you can wear to any occasion it will be great also if you want one fragrance that kind of fills all the gap you might have with other fragrance it's great fragrance overall i think it's great i know some people hate it and it's all right but it still smells good so hope you enjoyed the video if it's case well like and share if you have a different opinion than me on club de nuit intense man write it in the comment also if you have a fragrance that you believe is way better then Club de Nuit Intense Man that have the Aventus DNA. Might it be Aventus or something else? Put it in the comment. I'd be really interested to see which other fragrance share the same DNA that I might not know that are really good. Also, tell me in the comment why you think it's better than Club de Nuit Intense Man. So, thanks for watching and see you soon.